Startling Customs and Border Protection video of two little girls ages three and five dropped from the top of a border barrier by what Border Patrol agents say are smugglers. New at six, ABC7 has obtained a photo of these two girls. Both are from Ecuador and are currently at the Border Patrol station at Hondo Pass. And that is where we find ABC7 Saul signs with new information. Saul. Yeah, we can tell you that they, both of the girls were evaluated by medical personnel. They were even taken to the hospital after that 14-foot drop from the border barrier. And the two girls were given a clean bill of health and were brought here to the Border Patrol station here in Hondo Pass. They joined some 700 other unaccompanied children detained at the border by, at the border by agents and brought here also as well to Hondo Pass. I want to take you to the place where all this happened. It is west of Mount Cristo Rey. My sources within Border Patrol tell me all this played out near a landfill between 7 and 8 at night. Video captured on special Border Patrol cameras showed two men agents say are smugglers. One man climbs a barrier, the other hands him one of the children. Then, with feet dangling and like rag dolls, that man drops the first child, then the second. But before they flee, they toss over a bag. Sector Chief Gloria Chavez tells me contained passports and a cell phone. Chief Chavez tells me on, told me on ABC 7 at 5 she was concerned for the children's health, but after seeing the video, the chief came here to meet with the two little girls. You met with the children. How are they doing? What did they say? I did meet with the two little girls just now earlier today because I really they were on my mind since the moment I saw that video. I, I couldn't wait to get over there and, and visit with them. They're very resilient. They're very talkative. One's five years old. The other one is three years old. They were telling me about um, their that the, their food that they were eating and what they were doing. They wanted to know my name. So I told them my name was Gloria and then they gave me their name. Now, Chief Chavez tells me that she is in constant contact with law enforcement officials in Mexico, and she tells me she will not rest until those two men that you saw in the video are brought to justice. Now, I also asked Chief Chavez what the worst possible scenario would be had her agent not noticed or taken video of the moment when those children are dropped to the ground from that 14-foot barrier. I'll have her answer on ABC 7 at 10. For now, we're live in Hondo Pass. Saul signs, ABC 7. Such disturbing video, no matter how many times you see it, Saul. Thank you.